The Westinghouse Brake and Signal Company Limited was created in 1935 when the Westinghouse Brake and Saxby Signal Company Limited dropped the Saxby from their title. For most of the 20th century, it manufactured railway air braking, signaling, mining and colliery equipment, industrial automation and power rectifier equipment in the engineering works in Chippenham, Wiltshire, England and Melbourne, Australia. There were associate companies in South Africa Saxby and Pharma Private and India. The company's main factory of around 35 acres was located immediately northeast of Chippenham Railway Station on the Great Western Railway. There were also factories in Kingswood, Bristol, Douglas Limited, formerly Douglas Motorcycles, then Douglas Vespa and Vehicle Air Brake Equipment, Hobbs Automatic Transmissions, Epicyclic Gearbox, Westcode Semiconductors, now IXYS Corporation. The main factory was east of Foundry Lane, Signal and Automation Design Office as well as brake engineering, drawing offices and design, test laboratories on island sites shared with Hugh Baird and Sons, Maltsters and the Wiltshire Bacon Company. The rectifier design department was at Derriard's house, some design offices opposite the main factory site, other test and development laboratories beyond the semiconductor site at Avon House, north of the main factory site. On-site manufacturing capability covered every part of the engineering spectrum other than electron beam welding. There were acres of machine shops containing almost every variety of machine tool, extensive press shops, iron and non-ferrous foundries together with pattern shop and core shop, extensive drop stamp forge, die casting shops and tool room, tin smith shop, copper oxide and selenium rectifier shops, electro plating shop. The assembly and erection shops included wiring shops for signaling equipment, rectifier equipment, colliery equipment, railway signaling relays. The list is almost endless. Support activities included a well-equipped and staffed medical center and apprentice training school and hostel. Apprentices fell into trade, craft, student and graduate categories. The company had a works restaurant overalls allowed, a staff restaurant smartish dress, and a director's restaurant, all of which were supplied from the company allotments outside the North Gate now a housing estate. There was an immense amount of innovative work done. To name a few things, railway vacuum brakes, numerous mechanical, electrical and electronic signaling innovations. The company pioneered the use of SG. Iron spheroidal graphite for crankshafts and other items followed in this by Ford UK and was the first to produce an all-electronic control and monitoring system Westronic, in various styles initially for the railway market but then extending into oil, water, gas, electricity and sewage. Topic predecessors and background The railway air brake was patented in the United States of America by George Westinghouse in 1869 straight air brake and 1872 automatic air brake, see Westinghouse Air Brake Company. Predecessors of the British company included Evans O'Donnell Limited and Saxby and Farmer. Saxby and Farmer was started by John Saxby and John Stinson Farmer in the mid-19th century as pioneers in the manufacture of railway signaling equipment. In 1875 Saxby and Farmer had developed a mechanical linked braking system, which connected vehicles to brake simultaneously. In 1920 Saxby, Farmer and Evans O'Donnell formed the Westinghouse Brake and Saxby Signal Company Limited. Topic History Westinghouse Brake and Signal Company Limited formed part of BTR PLC who acquired it from the Hawker Siddeley Group in 1992. In 1999, BTR merged with Ciba PLC to form BTR Ciba PLC, later renamed Invencies. The detailed history of the company from 1881 to 1981 was recorded in OS. Knox's final book, A Hundred Years of Speed with Safety, not published until 2006 many years after Knox's death. Knox, a prolific writer of railway books and magazine articles for many years, was the chief mechanical engineer for Westinghouse until his retirement in 1970. 
A second book, Westinghouse Break and Signal in Photographs 1894-1981, was published by polonio.co.uk in 2010, this not-for-profit project raising funds for the Chippenham Museum and Heritage Centre which holds a significant collection of documents and artefacts about the company. Other documentation is held at the Swindon and Wiltshire History Centre in the town. Topic successes Invencies quickly split the company into Westinghouse Signals Limited and Westinghouse Brakes Limited, selling Westinghouse Brakes to Munich-based competitor Nor Bremser, also formerly a part of the Westinghouse Brake and Signal Company is Westcode, a high-power semiconductor manufacturer, now part of the IXYS Corporation. On 2 May 2013, the acquisition of Invencies Rail by Siemens was successfully completed. On 1 July 2013, the new company name for Invencies Rail Limited became Siemens Rail Automation Limited, with Westinghouse Brake and Signal Holdings becoming Siemens Rail Automation Holdings Limited. With this, the Westinghouse name disappeared from the railway signaling industry. Several years later, Siemens announced that it planned to merge its rail assets, including the former Westinghouse signal business, with Alstom.